I am Anil Kumar sharing with you example on rate of change. We are going to follow implicit derivation to solve this particular question. The question here is, a spherical balloon is being inflated at the rate of 3 pi meter cube per minute. 12 minutes after the inflation first begins, what is the rate of increase of the diameter? Now important thing here is that we have to work on the formula so that we can relate volume of a spherical balloon with diameter and then it will be simpler to solve the question right. <clears throat> so what is the formula for volume? Volume for a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube <clears throat> where diameter is equal to r divided by or we could write, I mean, diameter is 2 times r, or we can write r is diameter divided by 2. Substituting diameter divided by 2 in the formula, we can get volume as 4 by 3 pi diameter divided by 2 whole cube, right? Now that gives you 4 by 3 pi diameter cube over 8, 2 cube, which is 8, right? So 4 goes 2 times with 8, so we get pi over 2 times 3 is 6, so pi over 6 d cube. So we have derived a formula where volume is now related with diameter, right, d. So here we simplify it, 2 times 3 is 6, so we get pi over 6 d cube. So that is the first step. <clears throat> now, let's see what we have. A spherical balloon is being inflated at the rate of 3 pi meter cube per minute. So, also units will tell you it is rate of change of volume with time. Meter cube per minute. So, write 3 pi meter cube per minute. This is given to us. 12 minutes after, that means after t equals to 12, what is the rate of increase in diameter? We have to find diameter is d for us, so d, 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 t. Is it okay? This is what we have to find at t equals to 12. So that is the question for us. So I hope that is absolutely clear. And now we can work on this question. So we'll begin with the formula which we just derived. So volume is equals to pi by 6 diameter cube. Differentiate both sides with respect to time. So we get dv dt equals to, these are constants, so we will write pi by 6, d dt of d cube of, let me write d cube like this, whatever. <coughs> now that gives you pi by 6, 3d square, right, 3d square d d d t right so differentiate diameter with time so that is d v d t for us we need to find rate of change of diameter when t is 12 so <clears throat> now what is d at that time we didn't find that so you figure out that we have to still find what d is when t is 12 right so let's find that out. so when t equals to 12, what is the diameter? How are you going to find this? Let's go through this once again. Spherical balloon is being inflated at the rate of 3 pi meter cube per minute. Right? So that is the rate of volume. So that means the volume will be 3 pi times 12 after 12 minutes, correct? Because this is per minute. So the volume will be equals to 36 pi. Now, as far as volume is concerned, we have a formula here, pi by 6 d cube. So we can write 36 pi is pi by 6 d cube, right? So from here, we can find diameter. So diameter cube is equals to 36 pi divided by, let me write like this, 6 over pi. Is it okay? 
Now pi and pi cancel out. <coughs> and d will be equals to cube root of 36 times 6 as you know 6 times 6 is 36 so these are good figures to work with so we get diameter of 6 correct 6 times 6 times 6 so cube root will be 6 so now we know what d is now I think we know everything here dv dt is given to us dv dt is 3 pi Substitute these values, correct? So dv dt is 3 pi, so we'll write 3 pi here equals to. You could simplify this, let's do it. It's better to simplify as soon as we can. So we'll write this as pi by 2. d square, d is 6, so we'll write 6 square. Rate of change of diameter, which we need to figure out. So now, or we can write this as 3 pi times 2 over pi and this 6 also comes in the denominator 6 square so <clears throat> okay let's write 36 equals to d d d t right pi and pi cancel 3 goes 12 times and 2 goes 6 times is it okay so rate of change of diameter is 6 <clears throat> and the unit should be meters per minute right <clears throat> so I, sh I should say 1 over 6 I'm sorry 1 over 6 it's in the denominator right so let me write it here d d d t is equals to 1 over 6 uh, meters per minute correct so that is how you can actually solve such questions now we have very few questions in which we have to do unit conversion and the right formulas in a different way or we know the formula as a function of radius we are writing as a function of diameter but I hope this knowledge will help you to solve many test questions you feel free to share and subscribe to my videos write your comments and post questions thank you and all the best